When people ask me, Courtney, what's your favorite thing to make? It doesn't take me long to respond. The answer is pizza. What are you doing? Literally nothing beats it. Picture a low key Friday or Saturday night in, couple glasses of wine, hot pizzas coming out of the oven. It's the best. Now I have a lot of favorites, but I think the most crowd pleasing is the jalapeno popper pizza. And for good reason, it is so good. Now I'm going to show you how to make it right now. The first step is to make your dough. Now you can absolutely buy pre-made dough from the grocery store, but I highly recommend making your own. It's actually really easy. My go-to recipe is one from Bobby Flay. It comes together in under two hours and it's really flavorful. I'm going to link it down below in the description. One tip I do have is to use bread flour. It results in a much crispier crust than using all purpose, which I really like. So my dough is ready to go. As you can see, it's huge. It's been rising for over an hour now. I'm going to divide this guy into three dough balls. When you're working with your dough, it's super important that you're using your hands and not a rolling pin. A rolling pin is just gonna push out all the gas that developed during the rising process, and your pizza will be a little bit dense, a little bit tough, just not as springy as it would have been. All right, guys, it is time for the best part. We're moving on to the toppings. I'm placing my dough on a piece of parchment because it'll make it that much easier to transfer into the oven. And we're gonna start with a thin layer of a red sauce or a pizza sauce. No. I like to make my own. It's super easy and really cheap. I'll link my recipe down in the description. Okay. <laughs> Are you gonna are you gonna sit down? No? You're just trying to get to the sausage. I know you. <laughs> okay, once you have your red sauce down, now we're gonna move on to cheese. I have fresh mozzarella here. You really wanna avoid the pre-shredded cheeses because they have a lot of decaking agents and they just won't melt as nicely. <laughs> you've you've gotta be kidding me, cat. <laughs> So I'm only putting a few pieces on here because now I'm adding pimento cheese. Oh gosh. So when we make jalapeno poppers here at home, we'll do jalapeno stuffed with pimento cheese and wrapped with bacon. So pimento cheese felt like the perfect topping. So I'm not gonna worry about spreading it out. I'm just kind of doing some big clumps of it. <laughs> and it's gonna bake down really nicely into the pizza. It's going to be so good. Okay, next are jalapenos. If you prefer less spice, just go ahead and take out the seeds and the ribs with a little paring knife. So I'm just scattering the jalapenos throughout the pizza, kind of tucking them under some of the pimento cheese mounds. You are a monster. 
Now, typically you would think of putting bacon on this pizza, but I like to use Italian sausage. That's just my preference. You can absolutely use bacon or do bacon and sausage. That would be awesome. So obviously this is pre-cooked. You never wanna just put raw meat on a pizza because it will not have time to fully cook. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil around the crust. And lastly, a sprinkle of grated parm. And like I do with every pizza I make, a sprinkling of salt. So I have my oven preheated at 500 degrees Fahrenheit and I have a pizza stone hanging out in there with it. Uh, if you don't have a pizza stone, no big deal. You can absolutely use, <laughs> you can absolutely use a sheet pan just turned upside down. It will act the same way, but you do want to make sure pizza stone or a sheet tray that you have it in the oven while it's preheating. So it gets really hot. All right, guys, we waited long enough. haven't made pizza before, get on it. It's literally the best, so rewarding, and have fun with it. It doesn't need to be perfect. Like I said, all of the recipes I used are going to be in the description below the video, so check them out. Smash that like button, subscribe. We'll see you all next Tuesday. Mm. I'm out of wine.